Hello everybody, Ian Robson here, welcome back to Paradise Hills. So today we are working away on uh, this field down here, uh, which is field number, is this 14 or 13? 13 I guess technically it is. Now um, we got Spud Boy, he's currently just working away on the top of Harvester here. And we're gonna go ahead and just unload him real quick. Or get the last little bit of it there and then we'll drop this off in storage facility just driving over the crop I forgot it didn't do much with potatoes now this is going to be interesting let's see if we can do this all right there we go so one of the funny things you can do with drive control mod is you can just increase your speed a little bit to maintain just the right spot uh, using this particular method uh, I guess I'm using the drive control with the, I guess you call it match speed part of it. So that's how it's able to match the same speed as the harvester, basically. Which is a really nice, really, really slick little feature. Anyways, let's go drop this off. So yeah, we've got a couple things going on today. Um, I have a hired worker on field number two working away on that. I think he's just, uh, just putting down some lime, if memory serves. And... Uh, I just finished liming both of those fields, actually. So, anyways, before I forget, uh, I just want to thank my patrons once again. You guys are awesome. I really appreciate your help that you provide, and uh, thank you very much. Much appreciated. All right, that's manure. The potatoes are over here. Compost. Beet pulp. Oh, I thought these were the buildings with the potatoes, or maybe it's over there, and I just drove past it. I'm guessing it's over here and I just drove past it the wrong way. Typical. So hopefully, I have been I was tinkering with my um, sound, or the volumes I should say. No, uh, no, no. Is it on the other side then? I've been tinkering with the volumes, so you should be able to hear Spud. Uh, he is on TeamSpeak, or Discord with me, so. Uh, we will be chatting a little bit. All right, let's get this. Put here. Nice. Guess we should really back up further if we're gonna do a side tip there. I don't know if we have any weights in the front. Our weights uh, are on this farm. I can't remember. One of the nice things about that compi though is it unloads super, super quickly. It's crazy in comparison to like, uh, it feels really fast at least in comparison to some other tippers you can get. So you have to let me know about the volumes, like I was saying, uh, because I kind of, I don't normally have this volume this loud, uh, so hopefully it's not crazy, crazy loud in your ears. Oh, oh, there's a weight. That's what I'm looking for. All right. Let's detach for a second here. <laughs> it looks like the tractor was just like reset, and that's the reason why the linkage is why it looks like that at least let's see if we can back up just a little bit just far enough to get that front weight there we go <laughs> nice <laughs> all right so this is one of the problems with this thing so you got to make sure you put the uh oh goodness what is it steering column gps i think that is the right one not at all where is it here Activate terminals, air pressure. No, we don't want front loader. Warning signs. Oh, that's kind of cool. I don't remember seeing that. Take a look at that. I don't remember ever seeing that. Look at that. That's for, I guess, pipes. For some reason? I'm not sure what the heck that is. Must be for spraying, I guess. Uh, no, I don't want the warning signs on. Was it this one? Yes, it was that one. Which one is it? I thought it was this one. That's the front loaders, I think. Air pressure. Activate terminals. Oh my goodness, really? Breakdown. Oh, one second. Alright, found it. It was this one right here. Don't know why that was so difficult, but apparently I don't drive this tractor very often. There was another one where it was, uh, it had like a, it was a very like easy spot for me to find because it was such a random spot, but 
for whatever reason, that was much more difficult than it, than it needed to be, so... Anyhow. And I think Spud is doing... He's segregated the field into, like, a square section and then, like, a triangular section, which is kind of neat. Because you look... You have, like, this one section over here that kind of has, like, a an odd shape to it. I don't know which way he's going to go now. We're going to find out here. Ah, here we go. Perfect. Take a nice little turn here. It's only at 40%, but... Potato Harvester fills very quickly. Now the funny thing is, you actually... It's weird, I don't know... They, it's this has been the thing for the whole, like, time FS15's been out. But you need to, like, manually press the button to unload the... Uh, to unload the potatoes. It's so strange. But... Yeah, it's funny how you have to press O still to unload that uh, potato harvester, eh? Yeah, I'll let her build up a bit. We're not quite to the end yet. Here we go. This crazy land. Oh no! Is that... <laughs> what happened there? Oh, uh, there's a divot in the field. Look at that divot! Oh my goodness, that's crazy! I don't know if you guys can see it or not, but that is crazy. Like, it goes down, like, I guess what happened was when Steve was making the map, I guess he just raised the land yeah, up. Yeah, I noticed that with the uh, sprayer at some point, right around there, the uh, one of the arms dips into the ground, but since it's non-collidable, it uh, seems to be fine. <laughs> well, that's why you make non-collidable sprayer arms for stuff like that, right? That's right. All right, let's go ahead and check on this guy right here. I think he's okay. Ooh. No, he still needs to do a little bit more work here. So I picked up this Case 380 Magnum CVT. Let's just set it up like this. A little higher worker here. There we go. Nice. Um, so yeah, he's just working on the set up as a hard worker for the time being. Hopefully he can get that finished, but we'll see what happens. So Yeah, it's funny. If you notice how I'm kind of like moving around really weird, Sometimes on the server what will happen is uh, there'll be a time when you start moving around in a very odd odd way. So, like, if I'm, like, let's say strafing off to the left or to the right, sometimes it'll happen. Uh, don't know why, but just the way it is, so. We don't actually own this field, if memory serves. No, uh, no we do. Never mind. I was thinking it was 14 for whatever reason, so. Everyone really likes this map, though. It's been really... Uh, Everyone has enjoyed all the different random things you can do on it so far, which is kind of neat. Because, like, you can make charcoal on this map, I discovered, uh, talking to Norm, uh, which is ridiculous. I didn't know you could make charcoal, too. Like, you can do practically everything, it seems like, so. Uh, what do you, I think there's, like, long boards you can make, short boards you can make. You can make, um, charcoal. There's a couple of random things that you can do on this map that I haven't really messed around with all that much, so. But, it's possible, so... 6.4, slightly acidic, slightly acidic. Probably could have managed to do this field a bit better, but... I know... I didn't plant this field or anything. Yeah, it's funny, I was thinking about this earlier on today, I was wondering... Whether or not I should change this, the way I schedule things up and do, like, more multiplayer throughout the week. Um, so like, doing, like, two or three... <laughs> <laughs> that divot. Do you like oh, look two? Look at that. <laughs> yeah, that's crazy. I'm just like looking out the back of the tractor. Yeah, so I was thinking about doing like maybe multiplayer two or three times a week, and then do single player a couple times a week. I don't know. The problem with that is there's no guarantee everyone's going to be on at the same time, so that's always going to be the situation. So I don't know. Finished. Okay. So if you have, if you're interested in seeing some more multiplayer. Uh, let me know in the comments below. I'll can accommodate. I know when I was doing a little bit of uh, farm expert, some people were interested in that, and some people were not interested in that. So, which is understandable. Like it's a uh, we can actually open the doors there. Neat. So some some people were interested, some people weren't. So it just depends on what your particular fancy is. It's, I don't know. I kind of think it's an interesting game, but. Uh, 
It's not forever, but that's for sure. What does that one do? Is that the sunroof? Gotta have the information up to see what it is. Breakdown... What is that? I don't know. What's this one supposed to say? That's good sign wafer? No idea. Unfortunately, I don't speak German, which is... That's definitely in, so... Ah, well. This is one of the nicer drawn deers, though. I think this one came from Mod Hoster, if memory serves. If I had to guess. So, here's that divot once again that we were just talking about. It's kind of like a dip. Doesn't seem like much until you get like over to this area right here, and then you're kind of like, whoa, what happened there? So I think what's hap what happened was uh, Stevie was editing the the level of the floor in, in this field, and he was probably using a different function and just dropped it down just a wee bit more. Maybe it's intentional. Who knows? Stuff like that does happen in a field in real life, so it's entirely possible it was meant to be that way. It's got pretty good detail in this thing. Got hookups in the front. La Forge. I don't know if it's supposed to be said in French, but I totally just did. Do those little tiny lights work too? No, they're just for show. <laughs> oh, no, they do. There you go. Wow, that's kind of neat. Look at that. I didn't know all those lights worked on there. That's cool. Seems a bit excessive. I don't know. I guess if you're a contractor, it might be necessary, I guess. But if you're not a contractor, it'd be like a little overkill. Alright. We're away from that little dip over there, so we should be okay now. There we go. That drive control makes matching your speed with the harvester so much easier. It's ridiculous. Because as soon as as soon as you're like close, you can just hit the button and then you're basically gonna just continue at that speed so it's pretty slick interestingly enough my in-laws have been harvesting their potatoes a little bit and uh, they haven't had the super great yield they, they wanted uh, unfortunately it's been kind of it was kind of a weird year year for potatoes they haven't like it's not full harvest season yet but they're kind of at a point where um, they can start harvesting a few potatoes so unfortunately for them, they, their heart yield's not the greatest at the moment. So usually they're getting like, I don't know, hundreds of pounds and they're not getting hundreds of pounds, let's say. So I don't know what the exact figures are, but they're not as high as I want them to be basically. So Anyhow. Yeah, that divot's pretty ridiculous. Like you don't notice it at first. So then you, as you go down, you're like, whoa, what's going on here? Yeah, it's just crazy that it happened when we were recording for the first time. <laughs> yeah. I don't know, I think what happened was like Stevie probably made a mistake when he was editing the map, or maybe, I, I don't know, do you think it's intentional? I'd, I'd say it's unintentional. Yeah, because it's the way it is, it kind of like, it dips allow down a little bit too much. I don't know. It makes it for an interesting time driving over, that's for sure though. Oh yeah. All right, apparently that case is finished again. Or trying to convince me it's finished? Yeah, I did the same thing again. All right, let's turn this guy around here. There we go. I don't know, this is a 438 horsepower tractor. I'm not sure if it would be, oops. Is it lowered? There we go. I'm not sure if it would be able to actually pull this uh, cultivator or not. I don't know. Maybe, but it's not... The size does, doesn't look right. Because this cultivator is pretty big. And I think, honestly, you probably need something a bit more powerful than this. Maybe... Or maybe something heavier, I guess, would be a better way of saying it. Because 400 horsepower might be enough horsepower, but it's not enough in terms of um, weight, which is almost always the problem you run into, so... Alright. I'm gonna try and line this up a little bit and this higher worker again. Right, so what I'm trying to do is trying to even out the pH because here we have slight alkalinity and then over here it's kind of neutral. So it kind of just depends on uh, where it is. But 
I <laughs> got these grid lines here. Apparently this happens like in all 4X maps for whatever reason, so. All right, let's go back to this guy down here. Ah, Spud should be able to make a couple more passes pretty easily. Oh, that lights up, that's pretty neat. And you can actually take this out if you want to, or put it back. Put the steering wheel down. Ah, well. But, I don't know, I think some tractors, like, or some, like, mods with IC do, like, a really good job with IC. The other ones, like, some of them, if they're in English, it makes a big difference, obviously. And other ones, it's kind of like, well, what's the point? Because you don't understand what half of them do. Like, this one has, like, par partially German. Like, what I'm curious about is whether or not these actual monitors work when you're at, when you're bailing. Uh, Garant, that's for, like... Bergman, that was manure probably, Crone, Bailing, and Garant, that might be for Slurry. I don't know for certain. But I think, if memory serves, this is John Deere Drive Green, Starfire 300. If you could actually walk up these stairs. Alright, let's get lined up here for our next pass. I've always liked the turning circle on those potato harvesters. Like, if you have a self-propelled one, like like that style, let's say, with a, uh, I'm not sure what you call that wheel, dolly wheel or something like that. I'm not sure what the official name is. But if you compare that to, like, a pull-behind potato harvester, like, that is crazy, crazy maneuverable. Because, like, pull-behind potato harvesters are not. Like, you basically need, like, a big, big area to get set up with, or turn around those things, at least. Nice. Oh, I don't have that mod in here, never mind. <laughs> I was just about to do I'm like, oh, let's just take a screenshot. I'll hide the HUD. And I'm like, wait a minute. I don't have that mod installed. I don't know if that's something you can do on uh, multiplayer. I'd have to look up the uh, the capabilities. I think, some, I think you probably could, but I'm not certain, so. I was actually pretty surprised that this little crampy uh, can actually fit underneath that... Uh, a harvester. I thought it was gonna actually it's touching so like in real life you could actually I believe you can adjust the uh, you can actually adjust the height of this conveyor belt I think in real life. Memory serves. There we go. It's going low here but in this game you can't. There may I don't know if there might be a modern one where you could. That'd be kind of sweet. I don't I've never seen one. Unfortunately it doesn't seem like Potatoes are like a heavily modded like, like fruit type. Like in comparison to let's say potatoes or not potatoes, sugar beets. Because sugar beets, there are tons and tons of you know Europa. I think it's called. Is it called Europa? No, uh, Ropa tiger and all those types of or the bunker mouse and stuff like that. I don't know if they have the bunker mouse in 2013 in 2015, but they did in 2013. That's for sure. So, but they're kind of like I don't know. It's really strange. Like depending on where like. <laughs> where your focus is, I guess. I don't know. Admittedly, I don't look for many potato-related uh, mods. Like, there are the potato boxes, of course, you can use from Rose. I think it's Rosenhalla. Uh, he has those potato boxes you can actually fill and whatnot, but I have not done that. It's definitely not something that I particularly jazzed about. I know Farmer Beavis, for example, and, uh, and Black Fox also likes doing that kind of stuff with the, the boxes, at least, but not a super fan. I'll show you the pallets real quick while Spud is doing that. Uh, this guy? No. Where is it? Ah, here we are. So here's those pallets that I was talking about before uh, that you that you make from this. I don't know if these automatically sell or if these are... Um, I don't know. I haven't messed around with this very much to be honest with you. But Everyone's working, everyone's trying to keep this thing running as best as possible. Uh, apparently it takes a lot of wood. Oh, there's the uh, the short boards right there, I guess. Uh, that you can take off and make into something. These ones don't auto-sell. Auto uh, but there's those ones. And I think these ones are making the long boards, I think. And that's what's going on there. 
And I think the other one, that's just sell. So in 2017, you'll be able to drive that train, which is crazy. Uh, which is the other one here? Uh, nope, not these guys. Oh, no, that's right. So this is the forestry area, designated forestry area. They're doing a pretty good job of deforesting, actually. Deforestation, which is pretty surprising, actually. All right, so this is the other area, and I think these ones auto sell. So if you drop the logs in there, you get your wood chips, you make the boards, and these boards auto sell, that's right. So these ones just pop off and just auto sell. And I think it's the same ones, same style over here. Yeah, these ones make uh, boxes, I guess, and they just auto sell. The other, the other side is the ones that um, they just, you have to do it manually, so. All right, 34%. Wait for him to do one more pass there. Come back in a sec. All right, so we're back. Spud's just making the turn now. Yeah, the yield's not super high here, or else we have to. I probably have to unload them every single pass. There we go. Because the yield's not crazy high, it's not a big problem right now. All right, let's edge our way towards the conveyor. There we go. Nice. Well, it's a little bit too close now. I guess technically you could use the GPS mod, but for the time being, I think it's fine. Spread out there a little bit. Doesn't pile up in the middle. It'll be curious to see what they do in 2017 in terms of like some of those little things like fill planes and whatnot, uh, for example, like in that trailer back there. Like, are they going to do something similar, different? Are they, is it going to be able to shift when you move around and you drive? I don't know. I don't think so. That's a little bit too many calculations for farm sim, I think. It would eat up your CPU, I'm sure. Just thinking about that makes me go like, oh gosh. Could you imagine like that? Like, would this be kind of neat? Like when you're driving? For example, you do like a sudden stop, and then you see like the material in the trailer shift forward, like shift back, depending on what you're doing. It would kind of force you basically to um, to drive slowly, basically. And then what would be kind of neat is like if you took the turn too fast, you see the grain spill out, and you'd waste it on the ground. So I don't know. It'd be kind of interesting if that was the case. I'd be curious to see whether you could implement something like that. But like I said, I think it'd be a lot of calculations. Uh, like on on your computer itself, so I don't think it'd be cap capable of doing it, unfortunately. But I don't know. Like maybe it'd be fine. Who knows? Like if you can get like some of like games like Space Engineers to do stuff like that and do like a whole bunch of raise crazy, crazy uh, calculations all at once. I don't see why not Farm Sim couldn't do it, but I guess it might be a, a limitation of the engine. I don't know. So that um, I don't know. Could be. Could be. So. All right. Just unloading spot once again. Potatoes are always one of those crops that takes a while to do. That's one of the reasons why, uh, at least I tend to do it with like hard worker, for example, or using course play. One or the other, basically. But it's not bad doing it once in a while. I think this guy is actually done now. Yeah, he actually finished. Good. Let's go ahead and put this guy away. Put him in the shop up here, I think. Like so. And... I think what we'll do is we'll finish up just putting this thing away. It's gonna take a little bit longer to get that potato harvest done, so... If we if we stick around for the whole thing, it'll be a real wow, much longer episode than I intended, basically. All right, maybe one day. I don't do many full potato harvest saw on camera just because it does take a long time, like anywhere from like in real time, like you know, half an hour if it's a small field, all the way up to like an hour or two hours depending on the size. So it can get pretty crazy sometimes. Park, actually, uh, where is that spreader? Or that power washer, I should say. I think it's just around the corner here. 
Absolutely not. Where the heck is that thing? I know there's one around here. Maybe it's up in the other section up here. Yeah, I this. Let's go clean this guy off. And we'll clean off the tractor here. I think that'll be the last order of business for me for, me for today. There we go. There we go. Let's get this case magnum all nice and shiny again. It's funny, some people really like using the power washer and some people really don't like it. It's kind of funny. Depending on who you're talking to, like some people like this aspect of it, and other people, I don't know, like it was a novelty at one point, and it was really neat, and then after a while, I kind of was like, okay, I guess it depends on how fast things get dirty. Like if it's a gradual thing, it's not so bad, but if it's like, you know, anything you do, then it's kind of like, well, what's the point, almost? Let's put that back, and this right over here. Perfect. Good. Alright. Put the parking brake on. It's funny, I don't have my steering wheel hooked up right now. So I have to remember all the old, well for me it's all different uh, key bindings. So like control B for parking brake or control space depending what your things are. So this is what happens sometimes in multiplayer. You kind of spin around, go crazy like that. And uh, what's the other one? Enter key for the <laughs> turning your engine off. Anyways, folks, that'll be it for me for today. I hope you enjoyed this episode of Paradise Hills. I know I always have fun making these episodes for you guys. Uh, like I said before, let me know below about uh, what you think about doing some uh, more multiplayer episodes in a week. Now, the problem with that, like I said before, is you, there may not be people on the server when I record sometimes. And that would be the, the one downfall of that. So usually when I record, I try to make sure that someone's on the server. So anyways, folks. That'll be it for me for today. Like I said, uh, if you like my channel, I want you to go ahead and hit that subscribe button for some more Paradise Hills. I'll catch you guys later.